good morning students today we will learn human reproduction chapter 3 grade 12 in previous classes we discussed parts of the male reproductive system and parts of the female reproductive system and the gametogenesis and fertilization today we learn how fertilization occurs and how fertilized zygote develop into embryo and the other things ok listen normally this is a, a, a schematic structure of human female reproductive system this area I expanded slightly enlarged view of the fallopian tube and the ovary. Normally, ovary is a female reproductive organ, is mainly produced ovum. And ovum produced in the ovary, and ovum slowly moves into the fallopian tube or in the ovary duct. During movement, the fertilization takes place. In last class, we deal with what is the fertilization and types of fertilization. Fertilization is nothing but the fusion of male and female gamete. The fusion of male and female gamete is known as fertilization. In fertilization, male gamete sperm. In human beings, male gamete is spermatozoan. Already we know the spermatozoan has developed from the spermatogonium. In testis, spermatogonium are present after mitosis division, it produces primary spermatocytes and primary spermatocytes after meiosis division, it forms spermatic and secondary and the spermatic and the spermatozoan. After population, after insemination, the spermatozoan are entered into the vaginal part of the human female reproductive system. Then after entry of vagina, sperm has a mitochondria and tail slowly enter into the vaginal area. Then through the cervic and cervical canal and through the uterus and reach the fallopian tube. Even in right side also we move. In sperm slowly move into the area where the fertilization occurs. Normally, you know, in last class, in previous class, it deals the various parts of the female reproductive system, the ovary and the fimbri and the infundiculum and ambula and the isthmus, then the uterus and other things. Normally, sperm enter into the vagina and the cervix and through the uterus and enter into the fallopian tube. The fallopian tube is divided into some parts like infundiculum, ambula, isthmus. After ovulation, during oogenesis, we know the ovum is produced from the graphene follicle. This is ovary, the primary, secondary follicles are present, lastly converted into graphene follicle. After uh, maturity, the graphene follicle releases the ovum. The process is known as ovulation. The ovulation is nothing but releasing of ovum from the graphene follicle. That is ovulation. After ovulation, actually you know in menstrual cycle is studied during menstrual cycle, approximately 14th day of the menstrual cycle, ovum is released. After releasing, the ovum slowly moves into the infundiculum and then ambula and then isthmus. During movement, the ovum enters into the ambula and between ambula and isthmus, that is ambulary isthmic junction. During movement, the ovum which meets the sperm in the ambulary isthmic junction means the fertilization takes place. 
otherwise this fertilization not takes place so first the spermatozoan is entered into the vagina and through the cervical canal and through the uterus slowly sperm move into the ambulatory isthmic region of the oviduct and the same time ovary also releases ovum and ovum also move into the infantiflorum area of the oviduct then ambula region and then isthmic region of the oviduct then the between ambula and the isthmus the ovum moves the fertilization takes place fertilization exactly takes place in ambulatory isthmic region of the oviduct or fallopian tube the fertilization occurs the ovum converted into zygote then the ovum the fertilized ovum that is known as zygote zygote slowly develops slowly following mitosis division you know mitosis means equational division chromosome number the same and the zygote is contain 46 family sperm contain 23 and the ovum also contain 23 after fertilization ovum plus sperm 23 plus 23 46 chromosome zygote are formed and zygote slowly forms a mitosis division mitosis means same division it's after producing the same uh, number of chromosome after mitosis the chromosome number also same that the process of dividing zygote into embryo the process of dividing zygote into other blastocysts the process is known as cleavage listen cleavage is nothing but that is division the mitotic division only after fertilization the zygote slowly follows mitosis division that the mitosis division is nothing but here it is known as cleavage cleavage means dividing division the zygote is divided into other cells okay then uh, normally ovum is single cell after fertilization zygote also single cell which contain 46 chromosome zygote slowly divided into normally zygote one cell after one mitosis division it divided into two cells then after another one mitosis two into another mitosis division four then four cells again divided into eight and 16 and 32 and so on so after mitosis division the zygote developed into another structure so first zygote divided into normally zygote is single cell which contain 46 chromosome after division the zygote developed into two cells embryo and the four cells embryo and the eight cell embryo and the 16 cell embryo the all the uh, embryos is normally known as blastomeres blastomeres is nothing but the embryo from 2 to 16 2 to 16 cells cell embryo is known as blastomere in the black particularly 8 to 16 cell embryo is known as morula the blastomeres morula blastosis is nothing but that is stages in embryo development normally in single cell zygote is normally zygote then zygote after performing a mitosis division it forms two cells then four cells then eight 8 into 16 16 into 32 then other 64 other things and 2 to 16 cell embryo is collectively known as blastomeres and and particularly 8 to 16 8 to 16 cell embryo is particularly known as morula morula is nothing but this is the one stage in embryo that morula contain 18 to 16 cells in the embryo and 2 to 16 means that is blastomeres after blastomeres the blastomeres are the after 16 cells next cell 
after mitosis only it is all is mitosis here after all the cell division after zygote all the type of cell division is actually a mitosis equational division chromosome number only 46 your zygote two cell blastomeres contain 46 chromosome each cell 46 46 four cell blastomeres also contain 46 46 46 46 and eight cell blastomeres also each cell contain 46 chromosome and 16 cells also 46 even 32 and all the cells millions of cells are formed approximately a newborn child contain 2 million cells the one cell zygote only after mitosis division several mitosis division is developed into million cell embryo that is fetus fetus okay all the divisions are mitosis so particularly 2 to 16 cell embryo is known as blastomeres 8 to 16 exactly known as morula and morula after development after another mitosis is developed into blastocyst the zygote, the embryo present in the ambulatory ischemic region that slowly two cells 4, 16, 32 slowly divide, divide after mitosis division slowly enter into the uterine muscle here is the uterine cavity here only the during the pregnancy time the child is developed child is actually known as fetus fetus is developed then after fertilization, after fertilization here the cervical cap, the cervical canal area is filled with some mucus. After fertilization, so suppose zygote is developing, zygote is developed into other cell stage like blastomeres, morula and blastocyst means after fertilization immediately and the cervical Channel, a cervical area is plucked, is blocked by some mucus. Then only the endometrial lining and other things is not entered into the vaginal area. So the, normally we know during pregnancy time the menstrual cycle is not takes place. The menstruation and other stages is not takes place because menstruation we already know. The, if fertilization not takes place, unfertilized ovum and the endometrium lining of the uterus and blood vessels and mucus is slowly fall off or slowly oozes out through the vagina. But here after fertilization, the cervical, cervical area, the cervical canal, the entry of the cervix is plucked with the mucus, then the no entry of uh, no exit or entry of sperm as well as exit of other substances present in the uterus. After 9 months only during delivery time, during parturition time only the blood, the mucus relieve, mucus release and slowly the fertilized and the developed fetus is delivered as a child. So during pregnancy time the menstruation is not occurs and ovum production also not occurs because the cervical area is plucked blocked by some mucus substances. Now all the things in the fertilized egg, embryo and all the things present inside the uterus only is not entered into the outside of the uterus uh, because due to the uh, blockage of the cervical area. Okay. Then fertilization takes place. After fertilization, cygote slowly develop into blastomeres. The division is collectively known as cleavage and slowly develop into morula. And after 32 cell stage is blastocyst and slowly blastocyst enter into the uterine muscle that particularly endometrium. Normally you know uterus, uterus contain three layers. The inner layer is endometrium. And the middle layer is myometrium and the outer layer is perimetrium. So three layers of 
present in the uterus endometrium only the cushion shaped structure which is used for implantation of the fertilized embryo suppose fertilization takes place the child will develop into embryo then embryo largely converted into blastocyst after blastocyst stage the embryo get implanted get filled get fixed into the endometrium endometrium of the uterus then slowly endometrium forms around the embryo around the embryo after fixation after fixation of embryo into the uterine muscle a uh, particularly endometrium after fixation the cyoid that is embryo is gets implanted into the uterus and after slowly it forms a thickened layer the layer is nothing but it is chapoplast the outer structure after implantation forms a trapoplast and inner structure is known as inner cell mass inner cell mass only slowly develops into embryo and the blastocyst already know and the developed into fetus and slowly develops it forms a uh, umbilical cord and placenta tissue slowly develops into a new cell okay then we know the cervical canal and other things implantation is nothing but after fertilization the blastocyst blastomeres morula stage and blastocyst last stage after fertilization the blastocyst get implanted into the endometrium of the uterus the process of fixing the fertilized embryo into the uterine muscle particularly endometrium is known as implantation okay insemination is different insemination means the delivering the spermatozoa delivering the sperm into the female genital tract is insemination after insemination sperm flow slowly travel not only the left side in the right side also the ovum produced and the right side also because the sperm is million approximately you know the human ejaculating uh, 300 million sperms during ejaculation in 300 million sperms some of the sperms move to the somewhere in our left area and some sperms move to the right area suppose if ovum is produced in the left ovary the fertilization takes place here suppose ovum produced in the right side ovary the fertilization takes place in all the events in amula and the blastomeres on the event in the right side okay normally you know during menstrual cycle one month left side ovary produces ovum in the next month right side ovary produces the ovum in the third month left side ovary producing another ovum in month wise the ovary changing their duties the ovary producing ovum in first month means the second month the right side ovary producing the ovum so next question you ask so how sperm knows whether the left side ovum is present or right side ovum is present normally sperm moves in the both direction left side as well as right side when the ovum is present in the particular region the ambulatory ischemic region means the fertilization takes place suppose this ovum is not present in the right side means the left side moves sperm fertilizes the ovum in next one maybe another ovum is fertilized so during pregnancy time all the events is not taking place the production of ovum from the ovary is not taking place and the endometrium lining in the menstruation cycle is not taking place because due to the hormonal changes the mucus cervical canal blocks and ovary is not producing the ovum during and the pregnancy time during 9 months the first month producing ovum it's developed into cyoid means after 9 months the ovary is not producing the ovum even not exactly 9 months if the after parturition after delivery also a 3 to 6 months ovum is not produced at the delivery also the ovum is not produced by the ovary uh, approximately 6 months after 6 months 
the same cycle begins now reproducing ovum suppose sperm enter into the tract means fertilization takes place if sperm is not enter into the this area means fertilization not takes place if fertilization not takes place means the ovum and the endometrium lining and the blood vessels and blood and mucus are oozes off oozes out to the uh, vagina as menstruation okay now how twins are formed the general question normally left side ovary producing one ovum at the same time sometimes in some persons right side ovary also producing another ovum the sperm we know that 300 million sperms are present one sperm fertilizes the right side ovum and another one sperm fertilizes the left side ovum the ovum develop into zygote and embryo get implanted into the uterus and right side ovum also get implanted into the uterus as a embryo so two children are formed maybe this is non identical twins non identical twins means is developed from two ovum if identical twins monozygotic twins means during development in two cell stage the embryos get separated develop into a new two chains normally this type of uh, child is actually same sex both the sex of both the child are male or maybe both the child are female that is monozygotic twins a single zygote breaks and develops as a two separate child even not two four six seven eight also sometimes the eight child are produced in the uterus and eight embryos develop in the uterus that is maybe operating the uh, uh, unwanted embryos and maybe is seven in last witness record is seven child are delivered in a single fertilization a single parturition a single delivery okay this is actually a general idea about fertilization and the embryo development and how the embryos get implanted into the uterine muscle that is endometrium how this developed so next one is the embryo development and how embryos delivered in the parturition and lactation we will deal in the next class okay study your ncert book and the drawing also present in our ncert book and practice we give our seats also finish your our seats in next class we will continue with uh, parturition and the embryo development and uh, lactation okay thank you